Hey, how you doing? This is Dream Moose Tarot here, here for another video for the sign of Taurus. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Um, thank you for those who are subscribed and those who will continue to subscribe in the near future. Let's get to it, Taurus. Let's get to it. Universe, please give me precise messages you would like for me to relay, relay back to the sign of Taurus. The sign of Taurus. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. All right. Life is tough, but so are you. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you in reverse. Life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy your dance. Okay. So off the bat here, I feel that there's a tourist out here who, of course, as bulls, you know, is very, very vibrant in, in many ways than one. I believe there's a tourist out there, okay, who gets recognition, who someone talks about them um, in a good way, of course. You know, of course, there's negative, but, I mean, if you're not doing something right, they won't, you know what I'm saying? They won't, you won't have people talking about you. So, that's, that's perfectly fine. I love when people talk about me. I'm doing something right. Um, but life is tough, and I feel like you've been through a lot of stuff that you suppress and you don't allow a lot of people in. And a lot of people may not know what is actually really going on with Taurus. However, holding it on and not allowing love, pure happiness, and I feel as though you know where you can be happy, but I feel as though, like I was just telling Cancer not too long ago in their read, is that they're allowing fear to take over. You could, I real, I'm, the energy is speaking to me that you can man manifest wherever it is that you want. However, it is, you're manifesting the wrong things. And not necessarily the wrong things, because, of course, if you're enjoying whatever it is that the universe has given to you, I guess none of, you know, ain't all of them, not all of them are um, the wrong things. However, the way you manifest and how you want things, you can no longer keep taking the easy route. Some people don't understand your love language. Some people don't understand how you give off and how you show love. Instead, they see it as a closed off person, someone who's not willing to open up. And what the world is telling you, if you allow the inner youth, the inner being of you shine, the world has does have... Even those that was around you have n have no idea where this person came from. And I think y'all guys are going to, if y'all not already, going to f search that within yourself and love yourself even more. And I'm, and I'm talking about them confident tourists. The ones that know that they don't have to feel comp um, competition towards anybody. However, they still have some type of insecurity. And I don't know if it's your person or the people you dealt with, the people that you're involved with that cause you to see these certain insecurities. But some of these insecurities are not insecurities. They're actually ways of having shadow work. Okay? You need... It's like pointing the elephant in the room. And sometimes you meet people along the lines to open up your eyes on how 
One, you could be possibly treating people. Two, you could possibly be treating yourself. Three, neglecting those who matter. Because of wanting to fulfill everybody else's, um, everybody else's, you know, um, how you say that? Everybody else's, like benefiting everybody else and forgetting to benefit yourself. When in re when in some parts you feel you are benefiting within yourself, but you're really not. You're pleasing and benefiting everybody else. Because it's an image that some of you Tauruses try to portray. And trying to portray and trying to please everyone, you're going to be the one losing at the end. And you don't want to be like that. Because as life is tough, so are you. But let's clarify. Okay. Queen of Cups. The Death. Queen of Swords, too many, too many, too many, three of Pentacles, but I'll take them, Seven of Cups, and Justice. You're the master of your own path, but you're allowing, you're, you are still suppressing a lot of hurt from the past, and you must find balance within yourself. So with the first card being Queen of Cups, patiently waiting for your shits to come in, death, but also suppressing a lot of emotions from the past and hurt that you're not allowing your ships to come in. You're the one stopping your ships, ships to come in. I'm talking to a group of Tauruses and it probably might just be one or two or three, four, who knows, that are waiting for happiness, however, you are blocking it with the Queen of Swords in reverse. You are blocking. You are not allowing certain things to unfold in your life because you're, 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 you're stuck in between practical and what's, what you feel really in your heart. Three of Pentacles. You may be stuck in a third party energy. Involving two people, okay, and seven of cups in reverse. You don't even know which, which, which where to go. But right now, you're only worried about yourself, as you should. And I think as you work more on yourself, you will suddenly find balance. And really on what you actually want out of this, out of anything, out of anything that you put your mind to it. I feel like there's a lot of group of tourists who've been through a lot and is just waiting for their breakthrough. And I feel as though you're stopping your breakthrough. You're stopping it. And if you allow yourself to open up to things that actually exist instead of thinking negative, because I think it's a mindset thing. I think it's your mind of how you how you guys interpret certain things and how it's supposed to be. Maybe from past experiences, growing up, what you watch your parents do, or you watch your, your cousins, your brothers and sisters, watch how they do and how they operate, and you just came to this routine. People get nervous to break out of that routine. People get nervous to... Break family curses. And I'm talking to a group of Tauruses that will prevail and suddenly and will realize their value in their purpose in this world. I think you guys are fair of what you guys are capable of. And y'all don't even know how strong you guys are. And you guys are very strong. All the cockiness, the ego, the pride, all that. Put all those sides away. You guys are very strong individuals. And I think I think you guys know 
what it is that you guys need to do to move forward when it comes to loving yourself more and allowing and accepting and closing out things that no longer serve you. But that's all I have for you, Tauruses. You know, I, I, I believe in your strength and I know your strength will guide you in the best way possible. Explore the world. Love yourself. Love hard. And continue to love and embrace and cherish the people that are around you and the people that deserve it. Period. So next time, Taurus, stay safe, stay blessed, stay wise. Namaste. Peace.